Hey everybody, part 22 and final. I just got my ass kicked. I gotta heal myself. I'll tell you what happened is that I, um, I closed the emulator. And then I brought it back up. Cause I'm with like the music playing and everything while I was encoding the last video and... God. What happened was, um, looks like I'm about to fight the red dragon. Instead of using the save state, I used like the regular game save. So it respawned the enemies and I was like surrounded by ninjas. Careful this time. Oh, well. Better to go horizontal with him. You're more likely to hit the weak spot. And you might hit him twice. See, that one's so bad. That's. It's a regular dragon. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, it's a dragon, and then there's a red dragon. It just, I'm derping here. <clears throat> See, yeah, I'm in the I'm in the final area here. This is the the mana temple. I'm gonna be walking past the enemies a lot in this because there's not too much point in fighting them. And because I want this to be the final video, and I don't want it to be like super, super long. Especially since I'd like this to be uploaded, encoded, and, and monetized before I have to go to work, so... Uh, get out of my way, fuck you. Oh, get away from me. So when I can avoid battles, I will do that. You do get a lot of experience from fighting the ninjas and the Onais and shit, but... Well, I could make a big deal out of it. Ah, oh, go fuck yourself. You are making good pro- hold on, let me see what Julie wants. Oh, no, 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 bring up Google. Ah. Oh. It, it, Julie sent me this message. She said, oh, I'm... She, uh, she said, holy vicious rats. And I was like, what? And then I realized she was probably playing Dishonored, which she just bought today. And that is indeed what she's doing. She's playing Dishonored. Actually, I think I want to go this way. Um, a lot of people telling me Dishonored is like the game to get right now. I've been thinking about picking up a copy of it, but... Um, you know, at the same time, there's a lot of other things I need to take care of uh, money-wise before I go just buy a new game. And I have so many games that I haven't played, so it's kind of like not a big priority to me right now. Alright. I need the wall breaker here. Not, not magic. Okay. Back to the dragon sword. Nope, not the battle axe, the dragon sword. The battle axe, which is the second weapon in the game that you could never drop. Yeah, I don't know why I finally feel like I have to fight these particular enemies. But there you have it. Like you can't see what's going on. Well, I'm definitely going the right way because I remember this room. <clears throat> that is a fun one. What you got to do here is get your ice spell out and work it through there. Of course, there's always that fucker in the way, so you got to do it twice. It's not as hard as it looks. I'm just fucking up. Here we go. Let me put my cure spell back on. Oh, yeah, I was like, oh shit, he's gonna land on me, isn't he? Oops. Yeah, here comes the second dragon. I think this one's the one called Red Dragon. No, it's, it's Game Boy, so it's Gray Dragon. Or if you're 
playing on the actual original Game Boy, it would be greenish yellow dragon. Same exact pattern, just you gotta. Oof, yeah, I'll try to go horizontal. It's like more hit points, you know, it does more damage to you, I think. One more boss before the end, which is a dragon, a zombie dragon, which is basically a redux of the. Remember to the beginning when we fought the twin head dragon? And that's it for him. Defeated red dragon. Yeah. Could use more magic, so I should start fighting more enemies so that I can hopefully level up. Although I do have plenty of X ethers, so. There is that, too. Uh, Alright, I believe I'm going right here. Remember that being a pretty important distinction between right and left in that particular part. Yeah, yeah, I want to level. Yeah, here we go. Actually, gonna put into willpower because the faster your meter fills up, the better at the end of the game. So, dick, friggin' telefragment. I like hesitated there. Like, wait a minute, I'm surrounded. <laughs> <coughs> Locked door. Alright. Oh, I do still have some keys. Now that was that was a dead end, is what that was. Yeah, that was the wrong way. I should have gone south here. Just switch back to Cure. Hmm? Doing good to see mountains now. Nah, nah, kid. No, oh, fuck your ninja star. Go figure, I just switched off of the key. Alright. Yeah, I think if I would've went left in that important distinction, I would've wound up coming out of there and having to turn back. At least I think so. Dick. Good. Okay, here's another one where you need the ice spell. You gotta turn one of the ninjas into a snowman, and then you gotta get it on the right one, which thankfully I remember is this one right here. For some reason, that's like one thing like I'll probably never forget that. The location of the secret switch there. Also, you could walk around them and you notice he pauses on that one, so that's another way to find it. Oh. All right, I'm gonna fight that dragon zombie guy. It's pretty much like I said, it's a redux of the twin head dragons, the same exact pattern, except he does a lot more damage to you, and he has a lot more hit points. So, you know, it might even be the same dragon. Oh, that was stupid. You know, like this is the undead. As you see, touching him is a bad idea. He does a shit. Shit, shitload of damage. Much better to get hit by those fireballs or death balls or whatever you want to fucking call them. Maybe slow going to do it this way, but the important thing is you won't die. It's relatively safe, I mean. Yeah, at least I hit him once. Come on. I 
believe there's no more bosses after this until the final boss, which is Julius. So. Of course, he has three forms, but trust me, it doesn't take that long. Got him. Defeated Dragon Zombie. And we're just gonna move along here. Yeah, this is the end. Just gotta watch out, there's these really irritating elephant guys that sometimes appear here. It's better to just walk past them, they're really dangerous. Grove. You have been a great knight of Gemma, I see. I shall give you the Excalibur. Now defeat Julius. So your rusty sword is now an Excalibur. It's the best weapon in the game. You should immediately, immediately equip that. Let's go. Dickhead. I didn't manage to get a samurai helmet, but that's okay. This is it. Tits! You're late, assy. I already got the greatest power of mana. The time has come for the Empire Neo-Vandal. Now that I have the mighty power, I do not need you anymore, Assy. Not that I ever did. So he brings you to, like, this chessboard, and you gotta fight him. But he, like, splits himself into three. And there's no, like, thing where, like, one of them is the real Julius. You gotta beat them all. And he throws the nuke spell at you, so you just... It's not that hard, really. Just do the best you can. I have plenty of items. I won't even need most of my items, really, to be honest with you. And once you're down to just one, you can pretty much just corner him and go to town. Defeated Julius. See the true power of mana now. So now he's got like this freaking Babylonian chaos god thing going on. It's best to just kind of keep your distance until you're ready to do a dash attack and then do it and get out of the way. If you get, like, hit like that, just get a few cheap shots in and then heal yourself and move on. See, it's ideal to actually go vertical because, um, you could usually hit him twice then instead of just once. Ugh, that was, I meant to go vertical there, but... Be liberal, you have the... You should have plenty of x ethers and X-Cures at this point. And you have the girl with you for the final battle, which really helps with healing. I mean, she heals you gradually, but... It's better than nothing, you know? I don't know, you heal up. use both of them have two X I actually have a lot of them, I didn't realize there's all those down there. That's good for now though. As you might imagine he has a, a gang of hit points, I mean. That's it for the second form. Grr. Yeah he said grr. It's like fuck you, grr. Assy. Are you okay, tits? I defeated Julius. It's all over. You really think so? No, it is not. Told you. Assy, you will never leave here alive. Oh. Oh, why do they spawn me in a spot where he's gonna hit me instantly? This is his final form, which I like to call his... Devil form. You should have her... If you can have her constantly healing you, that's ideal. You never know where he's going to appear, and he does like to pop up on top of you. But if you try and go to the spot where he was last at, he doesn't really appear in the same spot twice. So that can kind of help you. 
It doesn't mean he's not going to appear nearby and hit you, but... Honestly, this is a very easy last battle as long as you're prepared. The greatest danger comes not from his nuke spells, but from him actually just touching you, so... If your willpower is high enough, you could pretty much just use that over and over again. shot there, too. Yay, that's it. We've beaten the game. Well, not we. I've beaten the game. You didn't do shit. You just watched it. That's cool, too, though. I'm glad you did. You know that it's the end when you can't speed up the text. The Mon of Tree disappeared. Oh. What am I supposed to do? You weren't supposed to blow up the damn tree, that's for sure. Tits, my dear. Mom? Yeah, your tits, your mom's name is Hooters. Your grandmother was young. <laughs> now that the mon... Now that the monotree is lost... You're the monotree, shut up. We need a new Gemma of the monotree. New tree? Remember what I told you very slowly? We are the seeds of the mana tree. We will be a bud called Gemma, and we will become a tree, because the biology works that way. Wizard did it. And the Geminites fight to guard it, which is why they're called Geminites, all shit. I became the Gemma last time we lost the tree. So guess what, bitch? That tree? Was it you? Yes, tits. Oh, no, I mean, yes, I would love some tits. Uh, but you are the last member of us Mana family. Well, you know, if you let me fuck her first and she can have a baby, nah, she's just gonna turn into a tree. To preserve the Mana tree, we need you to stay here and become the Gemma. But, tits, nobody else can decide for your life but you. Fucking do it, bitch! So, we're gonna bow? No, I'd rather be a tree. Uh, what? I will, Mom. I will be the new tree of mana. For all the fucking sequels this game had. But if I am the last one left, when I fall, yes, that will be the end of the piece. You know, if you think the translation in this game is ridiculous, wait until you see my next LP. Bye, assy. Please go. I must stay here. I'm gonna be a tree. Don't worry, I will be here as long as... I'm already talking slow like a tree. Ah, you guard me from the evil. The evil, okay. The evil. Not just evil, but the evil. Assy, please guard my daughter. What do you think I've been doing this whole time? I mean, admittedly, I've been doing a pretty shit job of it, but hey, I've been trying. You are the only Gemini for the tree now. Only one Gemini, only one tree. This is kind of a sucky ending, to be honest. I'll be withering soon. Please tell my Geminites that I said there are a bunch of assholes and they let me die. 
I mean goodbye and thanks to them. Goodbye. Tits. Assy. Who gave us these names anyway? What a jerk. Alright. Man, I'm feeling a lot better, but I still got a little bit of the old lung butter. Goodbye. Tits. Goodbye. Yeah, it's one word, dude. I feel like I gotta get like a like a like a vacuum and just suck all the snot out of my lungs, and I feel way better. I'd be probably like a hundred percent then. Goodbye, tits. Gemma, the guardian of the peaceful land. Fast forward. The new Gemma must not be lost ever after. Fast forward. We must all keep it forever. Fast forward. And you, Assy, are the only Gemini now. Pass forward. So there is Bogard and I think her name is Sarah. She of the huge honkers. Translation. Haha, <laughs> yeah, okay. They put that in the credits first so you can laugh at him right away and continue to laugh on into the night. There's Dr. Bow Wow. I mean, they put the, the translator before the main programmer, that's just sad. And the translator did not... I mean, the main programmer did a good job. The game rules. The designers and the programmers all did a great job. The translator is an idiot, though. He didn't know what the hell he's doing. So, yeah. There's Watts playing with levers, because that's what he does. He's all about levers and and knobs, too. He likes to make sure his knobs are uh, highly polished. He wants, to, he wants to see himself in that knob. There's Sibba. So you beat that guy that looks exactly like Edge from Final Fantasy IV? Oh, wait. That game didn't, that game didn't come out yet. Yes, it did. Just not in America. Oh, shit. Uh, the guy couldn't even translate the credits. Graphic assist. Do you mean graphics assistant? He couldn't even translate the credits. There's Lester. Lester the molester. Bye. Yeah, um... Well, the next LP is going to be a bit of a surprise. You'll see it on Monday, but, um... If you thought this game was translated badly and that I had a lot of fun and with the uh, awkward dialogue... A nonsensical story. Wait and see. See, the next one is going to make this game look like Final Fantasy IX in terms of translation. That's how... It's like the worst translated game ever, but it's a lot of fun, like this one. So. So, there's like another Chocobo. I never quite understood if that was supposed to be its child or like a mate. I mean, you go back to the same place where you found the first Chocobo. So I don't know if the first Chocobo laid an egg there and it hatched and that's its, like, kid. Or if that's, like, a mate for your Chocobo. Choco robot. Robo Chocobo. Bo -bo 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 -bo. The end. About five seconds later, somebody spills orange soda on the, the Gemma. And all hope is lost. So, um, I'll see you guys on Monday with the new LP. It's going to be funny. I guarantee you, you will laugh your ass off because it's a very amusing game from how badly translated it is. And, um, yeah, I will end this playthrough as I end every playthrough with those two magic words you've been waiting to hear. Fuck you.